This Saturday afternoon, I think James has set a new record, the biggest trailer load of motorcycles ever. Is that right, sir? This is my record. This is my record. This is the most motorcycles. Let's see what you got here. You really? ain't playing, huh, James? I got, I got 21. When you guys are sleeping, James is working. <laughs> when you're eating, James is working. He's got 130,000 miles on his one-year-old truck, picking up bikes all over the country. This is a collection from our, our friend Jay out of Virginia. You might have seen some of the YouTube shorts last night. And uh, this is only half of the load. Am, am I correct, James? This is only half. Well, a third. So uh, it's Saturday. What have you been doing today, James? Driving. <laughs> all driving. day. All day. What do you see? Oh, this is this is bad. This is the bad Brad Parliament PE175 full floater coming out first. Already previously restored. This will be an easy one. Got a whole trailer load here, fellas. We've got Junior here on a Saturday, which is a rare thing. What's going on, Junior? What's up, guys? Yeah, just came doing some furniture shopping. A little furniture shopping? Yeah. You and uh, you're buying a uh, uh, buying a house or something like that? A little investment property. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Would you look at this thing? Suzuki PE175 full floater, air cooled beauty. One. Hey James, what's next? Wow, a Katie. Big green. What is it? What do you got? What do you got here, James? Uh, okay, yeah, KDX. 175. Look at this fresh. It's brand new tires on it. Motor looks crisp and clean. New seat cover. Just some, needs a little Steiger graphics. She'll have this thing styling. What a beauty. Jay spent years put, amassing this collection. Total of 33 bikes. Uh, 22 on this load. Am I correct? What is it? Is it 22 on this load or 23? 21. 21. You say, James, the next, next load is what? The next one is cream of the crop. And this looking pretty creamy right here. Look at this. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream paint job. Clean on the inside, clean on the outside. Look at this thing. What a beauty. Look at this lime green beauty. Wowza. A little 175. We got the KDX versus PE 175 shootout coming up. Next one up is a Yamaha. Wait a minute here. We got the whole shootout of the class 1982 175 shootout coming up. We got the Yamaha IT, we got the KDX and the PE. How about that? Wow. Here's a rare bird. Class of 1976 Yamaha MX175 Monoshock with the original patent pending Kayaba Air but, Force. But not the only one. We have more. I I I, uh, I guess I just let the cat out of the bag. We have all four of the of the 1976s: the 125, the 175, the 250, and the 400, and all the parts to restore them. So we'll probably do another feature, the class of 1976. Look at this one. I see a porcupine head poking out. Wow! Look at the porcupine. I to, they paint that thing gold like they did in the old days. DG gold. This is the. Uh, Little brother, 125 with the Kiaba Air Forks. I heard this one run too, uh, down in down in Virginia. Yeah, it Chase started up for me. They take it out of gear. Another Enduro 175. Jay was a retired. Another IT 175. Jay was a, Jay was a little bit younger than me. I think he was around 52, 53. I'm 58. Hey, hey, what a gentle, gentle. It's a classic. Oh, some beauties in here. What do we got here? This is the. MX 400 1976. I know it looks a little rough, but I got a full body kit for this thing, including the original yellow desert tank for this thing. MX 400 B. B. First year the twin shock. B for badass. Twin shock. Or single shock, I meant. Mono shock, yeah. yeah. Here we have a 1974 Suzuki TM 125. I bought out the vintage stand for this one. Next up, IT 425. The 1976 MX250. So we got the 125, the 175, the 250, and the 400. Ready for a dirt rider shootout. Look at that thing. Classic Yamaha Monoshock. These things are the cat's meow. Aluminum tank. 